Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be my top 10 stocks as we head into Thursday, November 14th. This will be a technical analysis breakdown. So if you are somebody that uses charts within your trading, or maybe you're just interested in learning more about charts and how they can be used as a tool to help make good decisions as a trader, this will be a video for you. And also, if you trade Bitcoin, I will do a bonus analysis at the end. First off, a couple of clarifications. Number one, the candlestick that you see right there will be moving around and changing. That is because the market's still open for a small amount of time. But I like to do these videos when the market is still open because sometimes we can capture some really interesting late day price movement. Second, I'll be using the 30 minute time frame, meaning each one of these candlesticks here represents 30 minutes worth of time. So stock number one, ticker symbol PLTR, has been doing very, very uh, well recently. And you know today's chart's a little bit of per perspective. What do I mean by that? Well, if you're some sort of day tra trader, flipper, scalper, whatever you wanna call yourself, and you bought right there, or maybe you bought right there, and your plan was to buy and sell within 20 minutes. Well, then, yeah, from that perspective, the chart's looking pretty rough because there was this bigger pullback here. But if you care about the bigger picture point of view, everything is still perfectly fine. And the easiest way to see that is the fact that the price is still doing a great job of staying above that purple line. First time in a while, that purple line, which I might chart denotes the 50 period moving average. So, first time in a while, that 50 period moving average has been tested. But as you see right there, the, uh, you know, passed the test with flying colors, came down there, not only held strong, but has actually now produced a bit of a bounce moving forward. So going over the next few days, as long as the price continues to stay above that purple line, then as far as I'm concerned, everything is still perfectly fine. Now, even if the price drops below the purple line, not the end of the world, let me change that to green to represent support, as the next key overarching area of support would be down there around $58.50. So ideally speaking, if the price can stay above that purple line, that would be a great sign of power. But even if the price doesn't, as long as the price still stays above 58.50, that is still a, a very impressive sign of strength. In terms of areas of resistance, we'll get this little tread line here in play. And the price isn't anywhere close to it right now, but if there is there any sort of continued upwards movement, definitely keep a close eye on that. But assuming you care about the bigger picture point of view, even with the pullback today, everything's still perfectly fine. Next one, MVST, absolutely monster volume on this one today. So gotta think a lot of people are watching. And then when you factor in the pattern that has formed today, uh, you know, call it a self-filling prophecy, call it whatever you want. But when you have patterns like this being formed on well-watched stocks, uh, you know, you can get some very impressive movement. So let's just get this pattern drawn into play. Gotta think a lot of people have drawn a tread line very, very similar to that right there. Meaning a lot of people are gonna be watching this area here as a breakout point. So there are no guarantees, but certainly more than plausible and valid to think that if the price were to come up here and break through the top part of this pattern, that that break in and of itself could create that much more buying pressure. So that's gonna be the line that I think a whole lot of people are watching. And then the other part of the pattern here, that area of support right there. And then just to make the pattern clearer to see, we have our resistance, we have our support, that was a terrible line. We have our explosive move right here. This would be a bull flag pattern. So if you like bull flags, you like penny stocks, and you like stocks with a whole lot of volume on them, definitely keep an eye on it. Next one, M-A-R-A, -A. brutal move today, especially when you consider that during that opening 30 minutes, the price got all the way up there. So to think some poor souls were buying right there, hopefully they were using stop losses because from there, I had pulled back a whole lot. Now is the overarching chart absolutely destroyed? It is not. Today though, I did put a, you know, kind of a damper on things as the price is broken down through a couple of key areas of support. Not only this green line right here, but also the purple line right there, which you now know is that 50 period moving average. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. And also this level up here, so we don't have clutter everywhere with lines. So in terms of initial areas of resistance, if there is any sort of attempted curl back upwards, that's just based on the foundational rule that when levels of support are broken and closed below, they tend to act as resistance. And again, this was the area of support. It was broken right there. So if there is any sort of attempt to move back upwards, right up there around the $23 mark is gonna be that initial area of resistance. In terms of levels of support now moving forward. Well, we even broke through that, huh? Uh, let me squeeze things down here a little bit just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Yeah, next key overarching level would be this former breakout point down there, right around the gap close location of about $19, and we'll call it 60 cents. Do gaps have to close? Absolutely not. Nothing has to happen in the market because there are no guarantees, but that would definitely be the next overarching level down there around $19.60. So yeah, today put a wrinkle into things, but big picture wise, the price does still have the opportunity to build those higher bases, and that's how overarching uptrends are constructed. Next one, NMHI, another penny stock here with a whole lot of volume on it. And 
Bit of a buzzkill. Price was all the way up here at one point, and then it started to pull back here. But even with the pullback, not the end of the world. The price does still have the opportunity to build higher bases. It's still up above the key uh, levels. And what are these key levels? Will they come twofold? That pink line there being the 200 period moving average, and the purple line you know is the 50 period moving average. And these are what I would call must hold levels. And I'm not saying this will occur, but just for explanation's sake, if the price were to come down here and then break down through both those areas, what would that be doing to the price? That would quite literally be putting the price right back inside of this area where the chart just was. And not to insult your intelligence, but price movements that make explosive moves and then go right back to where they were, not exactly a sign of true genuine strength. Again, I'm not saying that's what's going to occur, but just explaining why these two moving averages here are very, very important. In regards to areas of resistance, if this thing tries to turn itself back around, definitely the main level in the near term here, gonna be right there at uh, 0.162. And then after 0.162, you can start to talk about these areas up over 20 cents. But one hurdle at a time, in my opinion, top priority right now is not necessarily breaking levels of resistance, but just ensuring this pullback stops and at least starts to get some sideways action. Because if it can get sideways action up here, then again, you still have, you can make the argument that the price is building a higher base. And therefore, from a bigger picture standpoint, uh, the trend is still bullish. So we'll see if at least the price can start to go sideways. Next, NVDA, and overall the chart is basically kind of just doing what it's been doing and just, just chopping around here a little bit. Now, if you had to say, well, who ultimately went out today? Yeah, you'd have to get the advantage to the bears because as of right now, the price is currently sitting and doing battle right down here around the bottom part of this channel at 146.50. Uh, so you can see that over the past couple of days, a whole lot of price action right around that area with a couple of false breakdowns. So right now, yeah, I get it. The price is slightly down below that area. But given we've had not one, but two false breakdowns, uh, I'm, that doesn't necessarily mean that this one is for sure guaranteed to be a false breakdown. But I'm not going to go ahead and, you know, all of a sudden say, oh, this, this level is broken. In fact, let's just do this. Let's just adjust this area of support right down to there at 145.90. Now, if the price breaks below there, well, that's just a, a totally clean cut breakdown because that would be putting the price down below these two uh, other uh, movements right there. So we'll just make that adjustment in terms of areas of resistance. Nothing new to report. Still have the overarching level up there at 149.65. The one thing to note, not the end of the world, but when you look at the highs, these highs keep getting lower and lower and lower. That doesn't mean for sure guaranteed that level is going to be broken, but it's something that certainly needs to be, you know, uh, just, just keep an eye on. Lower highs, not a good thing. And uh, if this level here holds, then you could very realistically see the price head down in this area around the 144 mark. So we'll see what happens with it. But yeah, things are looking a little shaky right now. Real quick, want to take a break and personally invite you to get signed up for this free live online webinar that I'm offering here very soon. So if you've been enjoying what you've seen and you want to learn more about this tool, how it can and should be used to build consistency and manage risk, then definitely get signed up for the free live class. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a link down in the description box you can use to sign up. Or if you're watching at my website, there's an area right there on the webpage that you can use to sign up. So like I said, if you've been enjoying, then definitely get signed up for the free class. Next one here, TSLA Tesla. And this will mean a little bit more to those of you that have watched past top, top 10 videos. But if you have, hopefully you remember me talking about and putting in that resistance tread line right there. And here we have the power of charts. This line has uh, really started to become a thorn in the side of the chart. Opening 30 minutes. There was a breakout of it, but you can see that quickly turned out to be a false breakout. And then down it went. And then during this last 30 minutes here, you can see the price come up there and gotten rejected right at that red line. Now, the good news is, is the price is still very close to it. So it's very realistic. It could do battle with it again on Thursday. But as of right now, the red line right there remains the, you know, kind of the thorn in the side of the chart right now in the sense of getting at any sort of upwards movement. As far as supports are concerned, nothing new here to report. Price is still nicely above that 3.1680 mark. And then just to zoom out or You can see from a bigger, and I'm going to do this very crudely, but really in all actuality, what we have here, resistance, support, big upwards move right there. We have a big old bull pennant pattern from a multi-day standpoint. But if you want to, like I said, just look at things a little bit closer here, you can see that, yes, near-term area of support, 316.80, key area of resistance right there, that resistance tread line. Next, RIVN, very nice pattern here. Just talked about a bull pennant on Tesla. And then we have ourselves a bull pennant here, except Tesla's bull pennant was a multi-day pattern. This is just a single day pattern. So let me get this drawn into play. So there's our resistance. There is our support. Change that to green. And then just so we can all make sure I can everybody sees it. Resistance, support, 
Big move up right there for you golfers, make a little bit more visual, put the golf hole down here. So here we go, another bull pattern. So just a question of can the price, which so far so good, found some support at the bottom part of the pattern. Will it get the continued bounce up to that area and break up through it? Grab your popcorn and we'll see how the next couple of days play out. Next one, BTCS, nice move today. And once again, at least I think a pretty well-defined area of resistance and you know kind of breakout points. So let me get this mapped into play. And I'm going through this a little quicker because you've already heard me say this, so I want to respect your time as much as possible um, and just kind of map this out because like I said, it's essentially the same thing. Resistance, support, nice upwards move there, golf full down here. So yes, have yourselves another bull pennant pattern. So starting to get a good variety of bull pennants, a couple of multi-day ones, and then a couple of, uh, you know, that are just uh, formed from uh, basically the past day and a half, which when you factor in the, the movement from late day, on Tuesday, but all in all, nice movement today, nice pattern. This thing has got the ability to move and move quickly as it was demonstrated today. Yes, the volume has dropped off quite a bit, but if another volume surge like this shows up, does it get a whole nother leg and put a new high to the upside? We'll see what happens. Next one, S-O-U-N, and overall rough day today had been trending up, trending up, and then had the gap down. And then from a technical standpoint, really becomes pretty cut and dry, no need to overcomplicate things. And it has to do with these moving averages that I've already talked about. But you can see right now, the price is between these. So it's up above the 200 period moving average, down below the 50 period moving average. So in some senses, you know, it, this is essentially, you know, the question becomes, is this going to be a sideways channel where it kind of chops back and forth? And as of now, that seems to be the most straightforward way to approach this. Um, you know, as these are very significant uh, moving averages. So when the price is between those, you don't want to really make any sort of proclamations until the price can at least prove itself in one way or the other. So that's just my long way of saying that moving forward, key area of support going to be $5 and we'll call it 90 cents. The 200 period moving average, key area of resistance, the 50 period moving average right now valued right around $7.06. So keep around these moving averages and we'll see if the price can make some sort of decision in regards to what direction it wants to break relative to this channel that's being formed. Next, QUBT, quite the eventful afternoon here. And overall, things were looking very shaky for a second as this thing got all the way up there, started to drop and drop and drop and then drop way more. But now we look at the final 30 minutes here and a nice solid green candle is forming. So seemingly the buyers have returned and it's just a question now of is this buying power enough to you know kind of bring it back up to those previous areas of resistance with the main area of resistance headed into Tuesday, or excuse me, into Thursday, right up there at $3.10. So you can see that's essentially the little clumping of resistance levels right there. So keep an eye on that. In terms of areas of support, also has given us a pretty well-defined area where the buyers showed up several times today. And that's right here, give or take a few pennies, right around $2.20. As you can see right there, yes, technically speaking, the price did drop slightly below it right there, fair enough. But then these two candles right in a row bounce essentially right off that 220 mark. So as of now, the buyers and sellers have drawn their lines in the sand. Sellers up here at $3.10, buyers down there at $2.20. So yes, another sideways channel. So it just becomes a question of who is ultimately gonna win out of this battle. Are the bulls gonna win with a break to the upside? Are the bears gonna win with a break to the downside? That remains to be seen. I'll get to Bitcoin here in just a moment, but first, like I said, for you stock traders out there, if you like what you saw here, then definitely go get signed up for the free live webinar. It'll be very soon, Thursday, November 14th at 8 p.m. Eastern time. I hope to see you there. And then also, if you enjoy these videos and you wanna help out the channel and support it, you can do that free of charge. Just hit the subscribe button. That one thing really goes a long way, so please consider doing that. All right, now let's talk some Bitcoin. First off, a couple of clarifications. Number one, I am now back on the four hour time frame. Not back on, I'm on the four hour time frame, excuse me. So instead of each one of these representing 30 minutes, each one represents four hours. And that is because Bitcoin is open 24 seven and I want this analysis to remain relevant for as long as possible. So by using the longer time frame and then walking you through some questions, that'll keep this analysis, like I said, relevant until I'm back to update it again. Uh, so overall, Bitcoin broke up through this area of resistance right there over the past 24 hours of 90,150. Unfortunately, could not quite maintain it as the price is now slightly down below it. So question number one, you need to ask yourself, and let's just assume you're watching this video 20 hours after I upload it. Question number one, where is the price at relative to 90,150? If you're saying the price is up above that level, that's a great thing that there, there's nothing to worry about at all because that implies that the price is at least back up around this range which is a good thing. Now, if you're saying, well, actually, Clay, the price is not only up in this range, it's all the way up here. Well, that's just telling you common sense will take you far. I guess you didn't even see that on the screen, but right there. 
Common sense will take it far. That's just it's telling you that Bitcoin is doing that much better. But with the price down below this area, now I just need to make sure that this pullback here doesn't spin out of control. And the first way to check that is just asking yourself, okay, well, where's the price at relative to 81,500? As long as you're answering the question that the price is above there, then overall, it's still a perfectly healthy pullback. Even if the price was all the way down here, that's still a much higher low previously than where it was over the past several days. So nothing to worry about at all. The only time where I would say to maybe start to slightly worry is if somehow you're saying, well, actually, Clay, the price is down below that purple line there. I doubt that's gonna be how you're answering the question, but just in case, in the event it is, that would be where things get worrisome. Things get very worrisome if somehow you're answering the question, the price is down below that pink line there, which I highly, highly doubt is the case, but I suppose you never know. But overall, like I said, things are holding up fine, and even if the price is chopping around somewhere around here, from an overarching standpoint, Bitcoin is looking healthy, and there's nothing to panic about. And as I invited the stock traders, I am inviting you as a Bitcoin and crypto trader to definitely get signed up for this free live class because what you're learning about can and certainly should be used within the world of Bitcoin and crypto. So go get signed up. It'll be Thursday, November 14th at 8 p.m. Eastern time. So I hope to see you there. And like I mentioned earlier, if you enjoy these top 10 videos and you wanna show some support for the channel, a free of, free of charge way to do that, hit the like button. And most importantly, hit that subscribe button. So I thank you in advance for considering hitting that button. So thanks for watching and go get signed up for that free class.